Oh, what to do, it's your boy Marino back again with another reaction. Before we hop into it, make sure you subscribe to my channel, check out my SoundCloud, all of my social media in the description box. Also, check out my debut single handily streaming now on all platforms. Link also in the description box. Let's hop into it. Today, we got Kaylani with Alter, official music video. This is the lead single off of her third album that's going to be dropping soon. Um, I forget what it's called. I think she announced the name. I forget, though. But yeah, let's hop into it. I'm excited. I live for Kaylani. She always has, she's like one of those artists that is not like, I feel like a, like a top charting artist, but she's like a person that everybody knows. She's successful in her own right. Um, I feel like she has like a cult following, you know, I feel like people anticipate her music. She's consistent musically, visually, you know, I like Kehlani. Good writer too. She's a really good writer. Okay, she's definitely giving us like creative like story with this. She like in a castle or something? Hmm. This instrumentation is definitely different than anything I've heard her on. Okay, give us fashion. This is kind of giving me like an alternative feel. It's like, I live for like folk music or like, I don't even want to call it like indie rock maybe. Um, and this is kind of what that gives me. Like it's definitely, I think a little bit more heavy hitting, which would be, um, which I could feel like the R&B influence, but it kind of feels like a fusion of both sounds. I love it though. Oh, what's that, a mask? Okay, come on, Black Queen. Yes. Yeah. One thing about it, two things for show, I live for choreography in any capacity, but lately I've been really getting into like interpretive dancing. I feel like I've never really seen it done commercially, except for like the first time I felt like I saw it or I knew what it was, wasn't Bring It On. Um, they incorporated it, the Lost Toros incorporated, incorporated it into their routine. Jeez, I can't talk today, but um, I feel like I haven't really seen it since then in like mainstream music, entertainment, things like that until um, I'm a huge Caroline Polachek fan. Like I live for her and she kind of is popularizing like that altern that um, interpretive type of movement, you know? And I feel like Helani, even though this is definitely more like she has another dancer with her, um, but it's definitely giving me that vibe, like, and I live for it. It's different than her normal, you know, like hip hop eight count. So I like it. This is so pretty, it's so happy. Where's she at Cinderella house? That's what she look like, she like at a farm or something. Ooh. Yeah, it's very catchy. I'm literally, this is my first time hearing the hook and the second go around, I'm already like catching the melody, catching the words. So I'm like, yeah, Kaylani, you got one with this. It's very commercial. It's very like crossover. Um, this, I feel like Kaylani has, I think we predominantly know her as an R&B singer. Like she's R&B through and through, but I think she's widely accepted in the pop community, even though I feel like her music, I feel like sometimes she'll do music that is R&B, but it's pop leaning or pop undertone. So maybe that's why, but there's something about Kehlani, maybe it's like her personality, her look or something that like everybody's drawn to. 
Um, which is a good thing with her releasing a song like this that is, I feel like, more pop-esque than R&B. So now people will not only get like Kehlani the personality or the, you know, the social star, but they'll also be getting fed the music as well. Because I know this song hopefully will reach a wider audience than probably like what her last album reached. Um, so the song is fire. <laughs> And I love the aesthetic of the video, like the flowers, it's a real like farmhouse and Bitch. Come on, Kelani. So sexy. Okay, fix me a plate. <laughs> Thank you. I'm loving this. The whole second verse is a vibe. Like the way she approaching, the way she's approaching the song, like. It's the cadence for me. Like, Kaylani, mean, she's gonna keep it interesting. And I like that she doesn't do the same type of cadence for both verses. She does like vocal acrobatics to kind of like break up the mon you know monotonous type of. Um, so it's not monotone or anything like that. I just, Kaylani, okay, this is really cute. Like, this is really well put together. Like visually and sonically, it's like a a whole entire story. Ooh, I'm excited for this album. Okay, yeah, this is a hit. Yes. And she is a fire dancer too. Them hands are sharp. Ah. Yes, okay. That's some, is that like her friend or like a boy or something? Somebody on the altar, so. I don't know who that was in the picture, but. I love the, I love the song and the video. Tunes across the board for me, Kaylani. I was right up my alley. I love like farm and like nature-esque type of visuals. Um, it was real like rustic. Then she had the girl doing the choreography with her, which was super dope because I haven't seen anyone do like, you always see like the male um, the male and female. I've never seen like a same sex type of dancing like that. So I love that, that was pretty cool. Um, I love like, she's kind of like in an era right now. Like a lot of her looks and everything is just kind of cohesive. So I'm really feeling that. Okay, Kaylani, I'm excited for the album. This is probably, like I lived for her mixtape. Um, damn, I can't think about what the name was, but it was the mixtape before her album that came out last year. It had um, "Nights Like This" with Ty Dolla Sign. It had um, "Nunya" with Dom, um, Dom Kennedy. It had "Butterfly." Like uh, basically, the whole project was fire from top to bottom. And her album came out. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really care for the album that came out last year, her sophomore album. Um, aside from Water, I just, it just, I don't know. It just didn't move me like that. Like they had some cute songs on there, but it was just like, mm, whatever to me. But this song is better than, than that entire album to me. Like this song is more like what I would expect after that mixtape. Like, ooh, okay, boom, bam. So I'm excited for her album. If you like that, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, check out my SoundCloud, all on my social media in the description box, and I'll see you on the next one.